we visited a farmer. He said, oh, you can go and pick as much capsicum as you want from the field. And then I asked, you know, are you going to harvest this? And he said, well, no. All this crop will be ploughed tomorrow. The cost that I have in the pickers supersedes what I would get for the crop in the supermarket. This really motivated us to look at, well, if we can actually reduce some of these costs and prevent some of the food um, wastage and help the farmers to have a more profitable enterprise, uh, that would be good motivation for our project. So what we did is we concentrated on what we thought they were the key bottlenecks. One of them was a perception, how the robot can see the fruit in the bush and the other one is the actual uh, picking tool. We've been trying to get our team together to set up our, our vision system or our perception system. He's trying to do it in the real world, so he's got all these challenges of the unstructured parts of the plant to have to detect capsicums in. It was a fairly tricky task to pick uh, sweet peppers in, in a greenhouse environment where Every piece of fruit's a different shape. They can be hidden by leaves and behind branches. So it's a challenging task to design computer algorithms and grippers that can grab these pieces of fruit and cut them from the plant. At the moment, our prototype is working very well in protected environments. We are trying to extend it to other crops, such as mangoes, apples, avocados, and strawberries. By having a robot, you can do selective harvesting. So therefore, you can harvest your crop um, at the optimal time window all the time at different stages. Harvey has so much potential. If he can be autonomously navigating down crop rows and, and harvesting capskins 24-7, um, then the farmers will just benefit from that greatly. Um, there will be lo lower risk and also better profit as well. That's really a really exciting thing. We are seeking investment to automate several aspects of it and again having a sustained trial in a real cropping environment to look at the benefits that this could bring to the farmers. Returning this technology to the farmers would really be beneficial to, to Queensland and to Australia and maybe to the world. Mm -hmm.